Okay, well that's not bad. Um, I just shot the upper one at 60 yards. I'd already previously sighted in at uh, at home, and then I came down here to the cabin. And even though that's not exactly center, that's as close as I'm going to get. I think uh, moving that um, internal adjustment one click uh, makes quite a bit of difference. So I may shoot one more shot, and as long as it's right there, and I'll be satisfied. It looks like the second shot went a little further left. So I may try to adjust it one click over and see what that does. Okay, the top menu, as you can see in the left corner, uh, is the type of reticle that you want to use. Uh, turn it down one. That's the color you can select green, red, or white. And the next one down is the zero. So you click one time and it puts a white cross up here up there, which I don't really like. I wish that I could change that to green because sometimes the light uh, in the daylight will fade out. It's difficult to see a target. But anyway, if I move the crosshair now, it's going to go uh, up or down. I'm, excuse me, it's going to go uh, uh, yeah, up or down. And, and then I have to click again. We'll allow it to go left or right. So what I need to do is to turn this crosshair to where it goes to the bullet impact. Of course, it's up here at this target. Oh, that's up or down. Okay, I've got to go back. Okay, that should do it. One click. Okay, that last shot is almost center. It's just a tad bit low, but there's nothing wrong with that. I'm very satisfied right there, so I'm going to leave it right where it's at. Just to give you an idea of what the scope can see during the daytime. This four before post up here in the weeds is 135 yards from my cabin, from where I'm sitting now, 135 yards. And the ridge top up behind it to the ridge top is approximately another 25 yards. So as you can see, a coyote within that distance should not be much of a problem. This will be about 125 yards right here can also change reticles in the scope, the color and the type of reticle you use. Uh, I have it just on a simple crosshair now. Let's change the color. So we go here and we click on color and it shows that this is green so I can rotate it and there's white. So in a dark setting when, you, when it's a little dark you can see the white uh, does pretty good. And then you can turn to the red I don't like the red as well. Um, it's not too bad right here. But up in this dark setting, the, the white is definitely better. And the green is not bad either. Of course, this is during the daytime. And I want to go down. Okay, it's, uh, the x-axis is uh, plus 22. And the y is a minus 22. So looks like that is set. Okay, I'm going to go through the uh, optional reticles that are available. And that's the top button. And so we'll go with that when you click on that. It looks like I've chosen reticle number five. Right here is a different one, has a dot in the center. I actually like that one really well. And this is a more like a German post crosshair type. And then we have this one that has just the, um, the lines from the side and the bottom. And I actually like this one the best. This is my favorite reticle. I use the simple crosshair one 
us to be able to shoot a little bit better on target. This dot sometimes will cover up the, uh, the target and it's a little difficult to see. But I think this reticle here is going to be a great one for getting on game quickly and uh, being for shooting. So it has the different, this is number one. Let me see if I go back. There's number one. Here's two, three, four, five. And I'm going to go back to two. I like that one. Okay. I'm going to go down and change the color. So it's on green. And now red. And now white. And as I said earlier, the white really shows up well against the dark object. Uh, at night time, with the illuminator going, I'm not sure what it will do. Uh, it depends. Uh, just have to experiment with it. And then when you're finished with everything, you just um, press the button to set it, and it's okay. You press the button and hold it in, and it turns the menu off.